We all have our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and these people that came after they are great scholars who understood the message of the Prophet peace be upon him more than us and what they did was they elaborated on it and they explained it to us and they became the greatest role models so the only one as Imam al-Shafi'i rahmatullahi alayhi he said once when he was in Mecca doing his Hajj and then he went to Medina he passed by the grave of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said everyone's statements can be argued and everyone's statements can be rejected proven to be wrong all of us including myself except for the owner of this grave meaning the prophet muhammad peace be upon him our prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a authentic hadith he said the prophets never left behind them property and wealth for inheritance what they did leave behind that others inherited of them was knowledge knowledge is endless knowledge is beautiful knowledge is light the four Imams, even though they differed in some opinions of branches of the branches of the religion, we're talking about where to place your hand, we're talking about what breaks your wudu in, in minute detail. We're talking about things like, uh, if I want to send my udhiya, is it better to send it to my relatives? Or is it better to send it to poor people? And they had differences of opinion, like that. Nothing major at all. There were many schools of thought in history. But for some reason, they were short-lived because of some political reasons or other reasons. And it was amazing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed these four schools of thought to remain until today. When you think of Imam Abu Hanifa and Nu'man ibn Thabit, you think of the loving man. When you think of Imam Malik, you think of the man of aura. When you think of Imam Shafi'i, he is the encyclopedist. He had knowledge in all areas. And when you think of Imam Ahmed, he is the man of piety, determination and resilience.